Hello paper crafters! The card I am showcasing today is a masculine one with some steampunk elements. The one I have made is actually an invitation, but you can easily adjust it to any occasion just by changing the sentiment. It's almost a one-layer card, easy to create, so let's get started and see how it was done. I have folded a piece of grey metallic cardstock in half, and then I'm going to position a die on top. This one is the largest one from uh, Old Letters Die Set by Gumea Pen. I'm placing it so that the top cutting edge will go above the fold line, this way it will not cut through. I have secured the die with a washi tape, and now I'm sending it through the machine. Outline dies like this one cut through two layers of cardstock without any problems. So now I have created a card base with tattered die cut edges. To create a circle framed window, I'll be using these two pinpoint dies. They are by another Swedish producer that is called Rock Stamps. I will only use the smaller one for cutting the window and the larger one is going to be used to create a frame. After I have the window die cut, I'm going to use this mini embossing folder by Sizzix to create some texture on my card. I'm placing my card base into the folder and then I'm sending it through the machine and this way I will have those gears embossed in the corner of the card. I will also add that gear pattern to other corners of the card and as you can see you can uh, place the embossing folder at an angle. I will actually have both the uh, card front and the inside embossed so the card is decorated inside and out. Next I'm going to use a set of those mini keyhole dies. They are also by Rock Stamps and they have beautiful embossed details on them. I'm sticking uh, the keyholes randomly onto my card front with the liquid glue and that is going to give it even more texture. I have used the two circle dies that I showed you earlier to die cut three frames out of the same grey cardstock. And now I'm going to stack all three frames because I want uh, that frame to have a bit more dimension than the rest of the card. Once I have built up all the layers, I'm applying more glue onto that frame and attaching it uh, just around the circle window. Then I'm going to use metallic rub-on paints to add some highlights to all the embossed areas. This paint is wax-based and it can be applied with the finger. Very easy to use. By the way, if you decide to use just a plain black cardstock instead of the metallic one, the effect of the rub-on paint will be even more dramatic. For the sentiment, I'm going to use this invitation word die. It's also by Gumea Pen. And again, I have it uh, die cut three times. I have stacked all three layers and now I'm attaching uh, the sentiment to the card front. I'm pressing it down to dry for a few seconds. I have die cut the circle out of patterned paper with the same die I used for the frame and now I'm going to attach it inside the card. I have traced the window with a pencil to see exactly where I should attach the circle and then I'm just pressing it down to stick. These key dies are by Magnolia. I will only be using the heart-shaped one for this project. For the key, I have also stacked the three layers of cardstock, and now I'm attaching a small bread onto the loop on the key. I'll also be using some decorative metal gears. Now I'm going to attach a key with a liquid glue right inside that window. Then for sticking down the gears, I'm going to switch to the hot glue because it dries instantly and it's also perfect for attaching dimensional elements. 
I'm sticking the first two gears onto the patterned paper and the third one is going to overlap the two previous ones. I'm also going to add two more metal gears right onto the card front. I'm slightly overlapping them. I have used the same patterned paper and uh, the die from the same uh, old letters die set to cut out this small piece of paper that I'm going to attach inside the card and this one is for writing the date and time of the party. And that finishes my card for today. I hope you liked this idea of a masculine card and enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again really soon.